when a black homeless man unexpectedly dashes into a wedding, he seizes the moment to seize the microphone and sing. The room falls silent in astonishment, but what unfolds next alters the course of his life forever. Without hesitation, the man rushes toward the stage, snatching the mic. Initially, uncertainty clouds the band's faces, yet recognizing the tune, they join in. Gradually, the crowd's initial bewilderment dissipates with each soulful note the man belts out. His voice, a stark contrast to his ragged appearance, captivates all who listen. While nobody comprehends how he found himself on that stage, nobody dares to interrupt him either. When the first song concludes, thunderous applause erupts, demanding an encore, tears glisten in some eyes. Moved by the man's unexpected talent, spurred by the crowd's joy, he launches into another song. Soon, guests find themselves drawn to the dance floor, swaying to the rhythm of his remarkable voice. Overwhelmed by the appreciation, he feels a surge of joy coursing through him, however, amidst the revelry, his gaze lands on a radiant bride, and a realization dawns upon him, this isn't just any ordinary evening, he stumbled upon a wedding celebration, his heart nearly skips a beat at the sight of the bride dancing to his music, fear once gripped him, expecting rejection, yet here he stands, embraced by the warmth of acceptance, it's a stark contrast to his morning routine, waking up in his sleeping bag, facing a world that often turned a blind eye to his existence, but tonight, he's the star, his voice weaving magic into the air, bridging the gap between his world and theirs, Anton couldn't help but understand the skepticism, growing up, he never envisioned his life unfolding this way, singing had always been his passion, his mom's constant praise echoing in his mind, though he never fully believed her, nonetheless, he possessed a knack for memorizing tunes and could effortlessly perform any song requested, but as Adolescence set in, societal pressures steered him away from his musical inclinations, he gravitated toward a rough crowd, where singing lost its allure in favor of smoking and drinking, desperate attempts to fit in, soon, petty crimes became the norm, much to his mother's dismay, by his late teens, Anton found himself entrenched in a gang lifestyle, where vices escalated from mere indulgence to full-blown addiction, despite occasional moments of doubt, leaving the gang seemed inconceivable trapping him in a cycle of crime, everything changed when he crossed paths with Sasha, a vision of beauty who captured his heart, love blossomed swiftly, and Anton became determined to give Sasha the world she deserved, as much as Anton yearned to provide Sasha with a better life, his return to his old habits unfolded clandestinely, desperate to amass wealth quickly, he slipped back into a world of crime, keeping his activities hidden from Sasha, despite her reassurances of contentment with their simple life, Anton couldn't shake the feeling of inadequacy, one fateful evening, when he prepared for a lucrative robbery, the illusion of success shattered, unbeknownst to the gang, a police informant had tipped off the authorities, the planned heist turned into a trap, resulting in arrests for everyone involved, for Anton, the consequences proved dire, not only was he apprehended at the scene, but incriminating evidence of drug possession further compounded his predicament, throughout the trial, Sasha stood by him faithfully, however, when the harsh reality of a lengthy prison sentence materialized, she made the painful decision to sever ties, years behind bars weighed heavily on Anton, each passing day haunted by remorse for driving Sasha away, the memory of their relationship became fragmented, blurred by time and the trauma of incarceration, then, a violent altercation left him with a head injury, exacerbating his struggles, amidst the haze of lost memories, Sasha's image faded, her details merging into an indistinct mosaic of what once was, when Anton stepped back into the world after a decade behind bars, the transition proved tumultuous, with a tarnished reputation and fragmented memories, reintegrating into society became an uphill battle, job opportunities were scarce, and without stable income, securing a place to call home remained out of reach, soon, he found himself navigating the harsh reality of life on the streets, relying on handouts to survive, however. Amidst the hardships, one solace remained, his voice, in moments of solitude, Anton sought refuge in song, finding solace in the melodies that echoed through his mind, though his memories faltered, the lyrics of familiar tunes provided a semblance of continuity, anchoring him to fragments of his past on a Saturday evening, driven by desperation, Anton ventured into the bustling city center, hoping for a chance at sustenance, while he typically gravitated toward quieter areas, his empty stomach pushed him toward the promise of scraps near popular eateries, despite his discomfort with begging, 
he remained steadfast in his commitment to avoid the pitfalls of his former life, he vowed to accept only what was freely offered, determined never to resort to theft again as time ticked by, Anton's hopes dwindled, despite the occasional spare change tossed his way, hunger gnawed at his belly, a poignant reminder of his precarious existence, however, he clung to his resolve, refusing to succumb. To the temptation of his past, however, the money he had wasn't even sufficient for a simple sandwich and a drink, when the night progressed, he became increasingly aware of the risks he faced, especially encountering intoxicated individuals on a weekend, drunk people were the last sort he wanted to cross paths with while living on the streets, he made a mental note to wait just one more hour before finding another spot, but just then, a tipsy patron stumbled out of the nearby restaurant, the sound of off-key singing escaping with the swing of the door, Anton tensed at the sight of the drunk man, but the man seemed oblivious to his presence, lighting a cigarette and reaching for his phone, he didn't spare a glance toward the homeless man mere feet away, lost in his own thoughts, Anton began to softly hum to himself, a habit that often soothed his nerves, unbeknownst to him, the drunk man meandered closer, by the time Anton realized the man's proximity, it was too late to move away. The man slumped against the wall and inquired about the song Anton was singing, tentatively, Anton replied, sharing his vast knowledge of song lyrics, the man chuckled, complimenting Anton's voice and comparing it favorably to the singer inside the restaurant, taken aback by the unexpected interaction, Anton hesitated, the drunk man finished his cigarette and, pulling out his wallet, offered Anton some cash, Anton was stunned by the gesture but initially refused the generous offer, however, the man insisted, jokingly suggesting that Anton use the money to treat himself to a meal after serenading the restaurant patrons, reluctantly, Anton accepted the money, watching when the man stumbled back into the restaurant, though the man was clearly intoxicated, his words lingered in Anton's mind, what if he could find a way into the restaurant and perform, it had been ages since anyone had encouraged him in such a way, he marveled at the resurgence of distant memories, both heartwarming and bittersweet, his mother's gentle encouragement to sing echoed in his mind, interwoven with thoughts of Sasha, who always found solace in his voice, tears threatened to spill, but Anton hastily brushed them away, focusing on his newfound determination to enter the restaurant, unfortunately, a vigilant guard stationed outside blocked his path, with a quick glance at the wad of cash in his hand, Anton concocted a daring plan, tucking away a few bills for sustenance, he approached the guard, offering the money in exchange for entry, after a skeptical appraisal. The guard relented, pocketing the cash and stepping aside, Anton couldn't believe his luck when he stepped into the bustling warmth of the restaurant, overwhelmed by the savory aroma wafting through the air and the lively chatter of patrons, he momentarily questioned the wisdom of his impulsive decision, yet, as the current singer's off-key performance grated on his ears, Anton's resolve hardened, ignoring the incredulous stares, he seized the moment, dashing toward the stage and seizing the microphone, in a heartbeat, the room fell silent, all eyes fixed on the unassuming figure clad in weathered attire, with trembling hands, Anton raised the mic to his lips and unleashed a voice that captivated the entire room, the band, initially disheartened by their faltering performance, rallied behind him, blending seamlessly with his melodies, tears welled in the eyes of the audience, moved by the raw emotion pouring forth with each note, as the night unfolded, Anton's impromptu performance garnered an outpouring of admiration, with patrons clamoring for more, amidst the applause and cheers, he couldn't shake his disbelief at the overwhelming reception, an hour passed, and Anton found himself approached by a distinguished gentleman in elegant attire, he recounted how he, the father of the bride, had been on the verge of dismissing the subpar singer when Anton seized the stage, Anton's voice, however, transformed the atmosphere, leaving him awestruck and grateful for the unexpected turn of events, expressing his profound appreciation, he handed Anton a substantial sum of money, unbeknownst to Anton, his impromptu performance had been captured by numerous patrons and swiftly spread across social media platforms, swiftly becoming viral sensations, oblivious to his newfound fame due to his lack of a phone, Anton's days took on a surreal quality, for the first time in months, he savored a hearty meal, inspired by his singing experience to envision a brighter future, unbeknownst. To him, fate was already at work, two weeks later, he found himself back near the restaurant where his life had taken an unexpected turn, 
Reflecting on that transformative night, he contemplated his next steps. Before he could retreat, the restaurant owner approached him, recognizing him as the homeless singer from the wedding. Astonished, Anton affirmed his identity, prompting the owner to reveal that Anton's performances had garnered global attention. Stunned by this revelation, Anton was rendered speechless. However, there was more to come. The restaurant owner extended an invitation for Anton to perform regularly at his establishment. Overwhelmed by the offer and feeling acutely aware of his appearance, Anton hesitated, his pride momentarily overshadowing the opportunity before him. Unable to afford new clothes or secure housing with a shower, Anton felt stuck in his current circumstances. However, the restaurant owner presented a lifeline, offering Anton access to the apartment above the restaurant for grooming and providing him with attire for performances, the owner urged Anton to seize the opportunity to transform his life, promising to rent the apartment to Anton if he demonstrated a commitment to change. The owner believed in Anton's potential for a brighter future. Overwhelmed by the offer, Anton embarked on his new path with determination. His performances drew crowds eager to witness the voice that had captivated the world. Week after week, Anton proved his dedication to self-improvement. Within a month, he received the keys to his own apartment, funded by his burgeoning career as a singer. Other establishments soon followed suit, booking Anton for performances throughout the week. Two months into his newfound success, Anton was stunned to spot a familiar face among the audience, Sasha, the woman he had loved long ago. Reconnecting with her reignited a flame that had never truly extinguished. When they spent the night catching up, Anton realized that his life had transformed in ways he had never imagined possible. From homelessness to stability, Anton's journey was a testament to the power of second chances and the support of compassionate individuals. With a new apartment, career, and rekindled love, Anton had fulfilled his vow to turn his life around. That's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story. When a police officer apprehends a 99-year-old black youth, his confidence and arrogance lead him to believe he can act with impunity, however, the boy's father witnesses the unfolding situation and swiftly intervenes, flashing his ID, causing the officer to regret his actions instantly. As the young black boy flees down the street, calling for his parents, it's evident the odds are stacked against him. Despite his youth and stature, he's pursued by Evan, a 35-year-old gym enthusiast. Pete, a rookie cop, observes the surreal scene, feeling out of his depth but recognizing the situation's dubious nature, he follows Evan, witnessing the senior officer handcuffing the trembling boy, Pete's heart sinks as he watches the scene devolve, knowing it's not how law enforcement should operate, attempting to reason with Evan only escalates tensions, leading to a heated argument between the two officers, the ensuing commotion draws the attention of bystanders, peeking through curtains and cautiously opening doors, unbeknownst to Evan, they've stopped outside the boy's own home, where his father hears. His cries and storms out, ensconced in his conceit, Evan tells the enraged father to stop, unaware of the impending storm, Pete knows this isn't as simple as it seems, and he's waiting for Evan to come to his senses, in private, Pete feels relieved that his colleague will soon be humiliated, Evan's attitude is unrestrained because of his familial connections, which derive from his lineage of law enforcement, his arrogance encourages contempt for the public and his co-workers, which is not conducive to police, fearful of the legacy of his fearsome ancestors, no one opposes him in spite of the condemnation, it is evident that Evan is following in the footsteps of his forebears, with his unbridled haughtiness obscuring the ideals of justice and equity, Evan's mother was appalled by her son's behavior and, for identical reasons, finally broke up with his father, she was hoping Evan wouldn't be like his father, but even though she tried to teach him right morals, Evan rapidly picked up the attitudes of the males in his family and idolized them, Evan refused to listen to her concerns about the negative effects of his actions on his relationships both personally and professionally, he felt that because of his father's and grandfather's success, he was invincible. Evan teamed up with a rookie police officer named Pete for a morning patrol. Evan saw it as an opportunity to establish his control and enjoyed the chance to show off his superiority over newbies, Evan abruptly halted the car after noticing a young black youngster riding his bike and thought the child looked suspicious, Pete asked a question innocuously, thinking Evan was kidding, not realizing that Evan was observing, but when Pete realized how serious Evan was, he became quiet out of embarrassment, Pete started to feel uneasy as Evan kept watching the child, the child, who couldn't have been more than nine, 
was just having fun riding his bike through the leaves, Pete felt that there was something wrong with Evan's attitude and assumed it had to do with the boy's skin tone only, Pete had heard stories of racist and corrupt police officers, but he had never considered working with one, Pete attempted to comprehend Evan's point of view, wondering what the youngster might be doing as he simply saw innocent happiness, torn between his instincts and his rookie status, but Pete was astonished by Evan's answer to his question, with a dismissive gesture, Evan told Pete to keep out of it and just take lessons. From him, even yet, Pete felt compelled to follow Evan when he went up to the boy. Seemingly unaware of the police presence, the child kept riding up and down the street, Pete continued to hold out hope that Evan had noticed something suspicious, explaining his behavior with other police officers as a reflection of his personality, he expected Evan to treat the boy with a child-appropriate combination of firmness and sympathy, Pete was shocked, though, when Evan yelled at the child to give him his name and address, Pete could see more and more that Evan was just interested in. The youngster because of his race, Pete found it difficult to express his disapproval as the youngster became obviously afraid as a result of Evan's interrogation, the boy continued to cry out, and Evan would not listen to how upset the boy was, Evan dismissed the concept that the boy was scared and confused when he fled in the direction of his house, viewing it as confirmation of his conduct, Pete tried to step in, but Evan chased after the youngster and grabbed him, cuffing his shaky wrists. Pete begged Evan to let the youngster go which led to a furious altercation between the two cops, Evan had no idea that the boy's father had left his home after becoming aware of his son's cries, tension increased as Evan, overcome with rage, told the father to remain back, the father's arrival highlighted the seriousness of the situation as Pete tried to comfort the upset child and make sense of what was happening, his outraged response was universal to each parent who witnesses their child in handcuffs, however, there was a crucial detail unknown to everyone else, the man who emerged as the boy's father flashed his ID in front of the cop's face, instantly, all color drained from Evan's once arrogant expression, replaced by immediate regret, the man's ID revealed him to be Joshua Alexander, the incoming police captain set to start his position the next day, Evan had unknowingly arrested his superior's son without just cause, instead of admitting his mistake, Evan fabricated a story claiming the boy had been causing disturbances outside people's homes, justifying their intervention, however, when Captain Alexander observed Pete's expression, he knew Evan's account was riddled with lies, ignorant of the hole he was digging himself into, Evan continued, alleging multiple reports from neighbors about the boy's disruptive behavior, Pete, feeling a sense of guilt for not doing more earlier, couldn't tolerate Evan's deceit any longer, despite Evan's attempts to intimidate him. Into silence, Pete finally spoke up, revealing the truth to Captain Alexander about Evan's prejudiced treatment of the boy, Captain Alexander was incensed by Evan's apparent racist conduct towards his son and resolved that the matter required formal addressing back at the station, for once in his career, Evan was silent when the gravity of the situation dawned on him, his unchecked behavior, rooted in a belief he could act with impunity, had finally caught up with him following interviews with. Pete and other officers, Captain Alexander uncovered numerous similar incidents in Evan's past, revealing a pattern of corruption and racism, it became evident that Evan's actions were not isolated but symptomatic of a deeper issue, the new captain was adamant, there was no place on the force for someone who showed such contempt for the welfare of a child, Evan was a real menace because of his attitude and conceit, still full of confidence, Evan thought he could talk his way out of trouble when he was called to the captain's office, just like he had done before, but his colleagues had finally shown him his true colors, and he was unaware of it, the moment the door closed, Captain Alexander announced that Evan had lost his job, as soon as the reality set in, the confidence he'd arrived with vanished, with racism and corruption tarnishing his record, Evan's police career was done, the regret he'd felt for a moment came roaring back, Captain Alexander was adamant despite his entreaties. Corrupt policemen were off limits to him, especially the one who had wrongfully detained his son on the basis of racial color, Pete, on the other hand, received praise for having spoken up against Evan's misbehavior, everyone at the precinct learned from this experience that it was unacceptable to remain silent in the face of misconduct, Captain Alexander anticipated a bright future for Pete and saw potential in his moral character, once seen as self-assured and domineering, Evan now had to deal. With the consequences of his actions, the very things that had driven him, his rage and conceit, 
proved to be his undoing, he couldn't help but agree with his mother's wisdom as he thought about it, they were, in fact, his downfall, it would be difficult to forge a fresh route now that their record was soiled, above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.